Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we're going to be making a simple settings GUI in Roblox Studio. If you need any help or support, contact my Discord server, our developer. Link is on the screen and in the description. With that being said, let's get started. Alright, so first off, go to View, run over Explorer and Properties. Now we start Start GUI, click on the plus, and insert a new screen GUI. Then we're only in the settings. Then go into the plus and insert frame. With the size, set the, set the size 0000. zero, zero, zero and set scale to 1 and 1 and then just resize it to how big you want the settings to look I'm gonna keep it like this so we'll name this frame main frame all I'm gonna do is set the background color free set it to 40 40 40 and add a UI corner I did that now you should just look like this duplicate this main frame and name this button then just res rescale this and we'll put it in the uh, left and just do the UI corner again now it's just like this. Inside the button, insert a text label. I'm gonna resize it to fit. And just put in settings. Just text. Then insert a text button, and then just resize it to fit the whole thing. Then set the background size to to one, and set the text to a spacebar. Then it should just look like this. Now what we're gonna do is just click on the plus and main frame, and insert a new frame, and just rescale it. Now just rescale it like this, maybe. Then I'll make the background color free, 50, 50, 50. Then you can insert a UI corner. I'll make it one, so it looks like this. So once you got your, once you got your little thing here, what we're gonna do is you can put in a text. This is gonna be our shadows, and then we'll do text text alignment. So that's the left. Then text will do shadows. Now what we can do is click on the plus, insert a new button. Then we can duplicate our button, put it inside this frame, and rescale it. Then for the frame, put the set Z index to 2, and you can drag it. Then it should just look like this. And then the text, text label for settings, we'll do on. Then it should just look like this. Now, in, click on the screen GUI, reset and spawn is false, and set ignore GUI and set to true. Okay, inside the text button in our little button right here, do a local skits, we'll do local pan equals true, and we'll do skits.parent.mouse.1 we'll one click call and connect function, there we go. So what we'll do is if on equals equals true, then on equals false, skits.parent.parent.text label dot text equals off. Then what we can do is we'll do game dot global shadows equals false. Then what we'll do is else, and then we can just copy these this, these three lines. Then on equals true. Then we'll do screw up edit. Now text equals on. And the global shadows equals true. Then we screw to our shadows. So now we can skip the closing button and then we can add the rest of the settings. So we'll go it open a local script for this. Then we'll do local open equals true. Good. That parent dot mouse will one click. Call and connect function. It's good. If open equals equals true, then open equals false. Then we will do skit dot parent dot parent dot parent dot main frame. Call on tween position. Udim two dot new. Then what we could do is we can get the current position of it. Then position paste this in and remove these little brackets then we'll do comma in out comma quad comma 0.5 true just this look like this then we can copy this then we'll do else paste that in and instead here we'll do y and set this to 1 and open equals true now let's get started adding the rest of the settings what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it able so you can disable reflections and diffuse and then we can disable all the things here. So what we can do is we'll cl click on this, we'll name this shadows and then set the Z index to this for free and then just drag it. Then we can just make it look like this. It just look like this, so second one. Second one is going to be the diff diffuse, so we'll name this diffuse and then text label is diffuse. Then inside the button, we'll do instead of global shells, we'll do lying dot diffuse environment diffuse scale equals zero. And then when it's on, we'll do environment diffuse scale equals one. And then next one, we'll do sh we'll do um reflections. Then text label 
we'll put in reflections uh, in the button we'll do this so get a lot lighting uh, environment specular scale equals zero then on the other one we'll do get a lighting uh, environment specular scale equals one then we've done reflections now we just do the this one now this is going to be different we're going to be removing the atmosphere so we'll name this atmosphere so now what we'll do is instead we're not just going to change this what we're going to do is we'll do local rep equals game colon get service replicate storage now instead of this what we'll do is this rep dot instead of we'll do this so game dot lying dot atmosphere dot parent equals rep now on the second line what we'll do is we'll do rep dot atmosphere dot parent equals game dot lying just like this we'll copy this and then we can use it for the next ones so we got atmosphere down we'll change the text for it so next one we'll do we'll do blur for the next one so blur inside the scripts move all this and game to lying dot blur equals dot parent equals rep and do the same for the other line now i'm using i'm also using depth of field so i'll make sure to remove that as well And for the next one, we'll do color correction. On just a note, some of you may not have these, so you can remove the ones that you don't want, and then you can add a custom one instead if you want. Then in here, we'll do this. Uh, let's see. So we'll do color correction. So we're doing color correction right there. Color correction is done. Next, we'll do the sun rays, which is the second to the last one. So this one is sun rays, and then we'll go into text button, local scripts, and then instead of color correction, we'll do sun rays as usual. And then finally, and then finally, we got blue, which is this. There we are. Now here we'll do blue, and for the text we'll put blue. There we go. So in here. We will replace the text with this and then we'll do bloom instead of summaries. And there we go. We got our little settings right here. Now just to finalize it, I'm gonna add a little text to it and put it and add it to the top. Now just a note, you don't have to use all of these because some of the things you won't have in your game, like color correction, you may not have this, sun rays, bloom, like the things that you are going to have is shadows, diffuse, and reflections. So make sure you have all of the other ones like atmosphere, blur, color correction, sun rays, and bloom. Let's resize the text real quick. And there we go. So now it's it's covering our screen. How do we fix this? So what we'll do is if we go into our open scripts again and we copy the position that it goes to, which is this, what we'll do is We'll go to the main frame, go to the position and put it in, then inside the button. Now, if you don't want to see the button either, what you can do is, in the local scripts for the button, we'll do goods.parent.parent.parent.enabled equals false. Oh, sorry, not false, true. And then, on the screen GUI, what we'll do is, we'll set enabled to false. And then you can go ahead and play test the game. So now we're in the game, we got our settings, brings up, shadows off, on, diffuse, all this. We can all turn it off. And when everything's off, it looks like this. And then we can turn everything back on by just doing this. So yeah, that's how you make a simple settings UI that also affects the stuff that's in lighting. It's a pretty quick tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. See you next time. Peace.